It's great, you know, it's, um, that's what he does. You know, he's made so many big shots in his career. Uh, you knew him in transition. Uh, it's amazing, you know, you guys don't get to see it, but when you watch all the guys, and that just is terrible, when you watch them practice, you know, on the floor on their own, uh, they work on certain shots, and that's a shot that transition three is something he works on all the time. Uh, and you knew once he got it, what he was going to do. I thought it was interesting when you watch him play. <clears throat> I thought Jason Kidd knew it too, but you could see him coming from the basket and them playing with each other. Um, so it was a big shot. And, and the other shot he made was big as well. So uh, that's what he does. That's good. I think he's like the last nine. Yeah, yeah, but the, the, the five were big. The three, he had the two off his table. Don't worry. I'll take all of them, but the five, were, they were huge. Doc, Sharp, Lake, you kind of guess for you had a, a lot of guys besides Jason step up, but talk about what Brandon gave you defensively. Brandon? Time. Brandon was a, uh, he was a star of the game, as far as I'm concerned, and, um, you know, he just defended, you know, and, and did it over and over and over again. Um, there's a lot of guys that you want to defend. I don't know if Carmelo would be the one you would pick, uh, and for Brandon to do that, basically the entire game until he fouled out, uh, was terrific for us. Uh, we needed that one guy to be able to do that. Uh, I tell you, the third quarter for us with, with the fouls, it was hard. I mean, it was, uh, I mean, we were shuffling guys in and out and just trying to move different guys. Uh, that was a hard quarter for us, um, and we got through it. Was that by design coming into this game to have Brandon on him as much as he was today? Yeah, yeah, we just, we just felt like the more he does it and does it well, the fresher Paul, the fresher Jeff can be offensively for us. Jared White, CLNS Radio. Uh, talk about how big Jeff was, especially having to cover Melo on foul trouble. Yeah, uh, you know, it's, it's funny, you know, Brandon gets in foul trouble, Jeff has to guard him. We had the one timeout at the end of the game when you knew they were going to go to Carmelo. Uh, Jeff and Paul both have, both have five fouls, and you're thinking, I mean, who do you want to sacrifice almost? That's how you felt, uh, because he's such a foul magnet. You know, he's really good at, at drawing fouls. Uh, but I thought Paul, I thought they all did, they all took their share. And Jeff was great as well. Okay, so I see about that Boston Herald. I'm going to ask you about Jason Terry play the <clears throat> offensive rebound. Which one he got position on um, Steve Novak and Drew? Yeah. Which ball found it? It seemed to be rather large. It was large. Uh, I mean, Jason Terry throughout basically overtime and, and right before was, was trip. You know, I uh, made play after play after play. Um, I think that was the only time we locked out the entire game going by the numbers, so that was terrific. Uh, and again, they made us pay every single time they got an offensive rebound. Um, they made us pay for it. It, it. That's how it felt for us. Um, you know, we still have to avert, uh, get away from the, the one bad quarter. It just seems like in all three games, uh, four games, we've had that one bad quarter. Uh, the third quarter was it tonight. Uh, Doc, you know, 